Uh, okay, welcome everyone to the IELTS course. Um, this is a 32 lesson course. Um, it's divided into two parts. Um, the first part, um, it's guided, which means that we are going to help you when you write. I'm going to give you some um, useful tips um, uh, before you do the, your homework or your tasks. Um, the second part, uh, actually, the first part is um, suitable for people who want a score of maybe 6, 6.5. And the second part, um, um, for people who want to get maybe 7.5. Okay, so we will take it slow. The course will increase in difficulty. Okay, so let's begin our lesson. Uh, academic writing. That's a bit of an introduction about academic writing. Um, the reading part of the exam has three large passages and 40 questions in total. So you, are, you need to answer 40 questions um, on three passages. The questions range from multiple choice to sentence completion or matching headings. Actually, there are, there are many types of questions that we will discuss and practice in the course. Uh, there will be different instructions for you for each question type that you need to read carefully to answer the questions. Um, the topics are diverse. You could have a passage about bacteria, uh, languages, uh, space, uh, home, um, art, history, technology, culture, the natural world, education systems, business, traditions or any topic you can imagine so it's very important that you read as much as possible okay uh, this has nothing to do with the IELTS course okay you need to read as much as possible okay um, you have to answer the 40 questions in less than an hour so that you can have time to transfer your answers to the answer sheet okay uh, of course you will not read the three, uh, three passages um, uh, there are probably maybe 3,000 words in those uh, passages, so you will not have time to read all that. It's very difficult. I'm, I'm not saying it's impossible, okay? It can be done, but uh, but we will not do that, okay? Uh, I'm going to teach, uh, teach you techniques that you can use to answer the questions without reading the whole um, passage, okay? So you need to... Um, um, answer the 40 questions in less than 60 minutes. Actually, let's say maybe uh, 45 minutes if you can do it, so you can have time to transfer your answers to the answer sheet. And um, before that, um, to check your answers, okay, quickly. Uh, we will be learning techniques that you must you must use to answer the questions, okay. But for the first two months, I want you to uh, do as following. When you do your homework, I want you to follow the steps explained in the lessons to the letter, okay? But when you finish your homework, I want you to read the passages carefully, understand every word, okay? Don't worry about time now, okay? Uh, so, um, for example, if you have three passages in your homework, um, you can take up to maybe four hours as you wish. Just follow the steps and techniques I'm going to give you, okay? And when you're done with your homework, I want you to read, okay? Read the passages carefully. Read every word, okay? Use a dictionary, um, uh, do an online search about uh, expression, do whatever you want, okay? But understand the passages fully, okay? Because the more you read, the faster you read, the better you get at locating the answer. So this is very useful. Um, for the first 16 lessons, I want you to take as much time as you need to do the questions, but it's crucial that you follow the steps given in the lessons. If you don't do that, I can guarantee that you will get the score you want, okay? So let's begin our lesson for today. Um, this is the first lesson. Um, um, it's about reading, okay? Um, we need to learn very important skills, okay, before we do anything, uh, skimming and scanning uh, and paraphrasing. This is what we are going to learn in today's lesson. Um, we also have 
two types of questions that we are going to uh, discuss today. Short answer questions and uh, completing sentence sentences or sentence completion. Okay, so let's begin. Um, in this slide, we have uh, a text. Okay, it has one, two, three, four, five, six paragraphs. Okay, it's about a building, a very uh, famous, um, expensive building. Okay, um, um, the owner is named Makesh Abani. Okay, so let's move on. We will go. We will come back to this um, text uh, soon. Okay. Uh, let's first begin with short answer questions, okay? So you are going to, um, um, in the exam, at the exam, you are, you are going to answer questions, but with few words, okay? It's called short answer questions. Those are questions that require an answer of just a few words. Those are known as short answer questions, and they ask about factual details. The answers for short answer questions this is very important, okay? Come in the same order as they appear in the text. So if you have maybe four questions, okay? If you can locate the answer for the first one, then probably the second question might be in the same paragraph or the following paragraph and so on, okay? We are going to look at that. Uh, make sure that your answer is grammatically correct. We are going to also talk about that. Some grammar words can be omitted in order to get the right number of words like the articles a and uh, like quantifiers like some any sometimes you need to omit adjectives okay um we are also going to see an example okay this is just an introduction so don't worry in this type of task you have to answer questions using up to three words okay you need to focus okay up to three words so it can be one word Two words or three words, but not four words, okay? Or up to two words and or a number. So the instructions tell you exactly how many words you can use, okay? Uh, so if the instructions uh, tell you to use uh, three words and or a number, so you can use three words and maybe a number, 50, 60, uh, 500,000, and so on, okay? But you can't use four words because the instruction, the instructions tell you to use three uh, up to three words, uh, which means um, one or two or three, okay, and or a number, okay. So it could be two words and a number, three words and a number, and so on, okay. So you have to read the instructions carefully. Short answer questions test if you can find the right part of the text quickly and understand the information. Okay, this is what it's all about. Skimming and scanning the text are two skills that you need to master for the reading part of the exam. So we need to talk about skimming and scanning first. But anyway, this is how the question, um, this is how you can see the question at, at the exam, okay? This is how it looks like. Choose no more than three words and or a number, okay, from the passage for each answer. So you have three questions, okay? How many lifts does the home have? What can you find in the ice room? What do the Mbani children have to do when at home? Okay, when they are at home, okay? So you have to answer. You can't write complete sentences. It would be a mistake because the, the, uh, the instructions tell you to use or choose no more than three words and or a, tick, a number, I'm sorry. And it says from the passage, okay? Because sometimes you can, uh, you can get, um, you can have a, um, maybe a list or a table with um, um, uh, some words that, can, that you can choose from, okay? But in this case, it says from the passage. So you have to choose from the passage, okay? Let's now take a look at um, the techniques. What we need to do in order to answer uh, those questions, okay? The first thing, the most important thing that you need to uh, do at uh, first, finding key words, finding the main words in the questions, okay? Of course, uh, at the exam, we don't have time. We get confused easily. We are anxious, we are worried. So you need to practice these techniques 
as much as possible. Okay. Um, before you start working on the questions, you need to understand, underline the keywords. Those are the most important words in the questions, and they are the key to finding the correct answers. For example, I could, uh, for the first question, it's, it says, how many lifts does the home have? So I have two very important key words or main words in the question. Lifts, which means elevators, and home. Okay. Uh, what can you find in the ice room? So the key word in this question is the ice room. Okay. When you underline the keywords, um, you can then you can then uh, move on to the uh, scanning and skimming techniques in order to find the answer to your question. So let's talk about sc scanning and skimming. Skimming and scanning are important reading techniques which are very useful in the IELTS test. As time is limited in the exam, uh, obviously, they help you to find the answers you need quickly. You are not going to read the whole text to answer the questions. This is a mistake that many people do. You don't have time to read 3,000 um, words and read and answer 40 questions. Okay, unless you read extremely fast, okay. Um, of course, I'm kidding, and no one will read 3,000 words in an hour, it's um, it's very, very difficult, okay, <laughs> extremely difficult. And anyway, uh, let's talk about skimming and scanning. Skimming uh, the text is reading it quickly to get an idea of what it's about. So, when you skim a text, you read you read you read the text very quickly, actually. You read the text in less than one minute or in one minute. Okay. And I'm going to teach you how to do this. Uh, scanning is also reading quickly, but this time you will you don't need the get you know you don't need to get the whole idea. No, you are looking for specific information. So when you scan, you look for specific information, maybe a name, maybe a keyword, maybe a date, a number, um, and so on. Okay, so you are not reading the text at all. You are just scanning for specific information. Okay, so um, you, you need to follow these steps. Okay, there are five steps, five important steps. Before you look at the questions, read through the text quickly. Skim the text in one minute and don't mind if there are some new words that you don't understand. Okay. Don't even think about it, okay? Um, so you need to read the text quickly in one minute, and I'm going to show you how to do that, okay? Of course, the more words you know, the more collocations, phrasal verbs, and uh, idioms, and vocabulary you know, the easier these steps will seem to you, okay? If, you, if your vocabulary is limited, then these steps will be very difficult to achieve or, or to follow, okay? So, so the first uh, the first step is that you will skim, read quickly the text in one minute. Okay, then when you skim the text, try to look for content words. So while skimming, you need to look for content words. What are content words? These are nouns, verbs, and adjectives, uh, because they will give you an idea of the text. Okay, uh, we will also talk about that. Don't worry, we are going to practice all these techniques. Read the questions. So you skimmed the text. Now you have an idea of what the text is about. Okay. Now read the questions. Okay. And underline underline the keywords in the questions. Okay. You need to understand that underlining or finding the keywords is the most important step. And without it, you might not be able to, so, to, to get all the questions uh, correctly. Okay. Those words will help you locate the correct answer. You can underline those words, okay? So you will skim the text in one minute. Uh, while skimming, you will be looking at content, uh, content words, nouns, verbs, uh, adjectives, okay? Uh, then you will read the question, the questions, I'm sorry, and underline the keywords. Now you need to scan the, the passage. So we, we, we're done with skimming. Now we need to start scanning. Scan the passage for the answer of the first question. 
move your eyes quickly through the text and don't read it. Don't read, don't waste your time reading the text. Okay. You will just scan the text. Um, okay. You will move your eye quickly through the text until you find the first keyword. Okay. Or a word with a similar meaning. Uh, for example, if the keyword, let's go back to the, um, uh, the question, how many lifts does the home have? So a lift is uh, an elevator, okay? So I could be uh, looking for the word left or elevator, okay? Uh, left is British and uh, elevator is American. Um, now, read the part of the passage or the paragraph that has the keyword carefully until you find the answer. You know, we will probably need to read maybe two or three sentences, mostly, in most cases, okay? Until you find the, 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 the answer, how many lefts, okay? Okay, um, let's uh, read this uh, slide. Read this exam task and the answers to the questions. What's wrong with the answers? So these are uh, four questions, okay? Um, the question says, answer these questions. Choose no more than three words and or a number from the passage for each answer, okay? How many seats are there in the Ambani residence theater? How many seats? So I, I have a keyword, uh, theater, okay? And seats, you can underline those because those that um, those what I'm looking for. Seats and theater, okay? Let's move, uh, let's go on. Let's go back to the actual text, okay? So I need to read the text. I need to follow these steps. The first, uh, before you start reading the questions, you need to skim the text quickly, okay? So how you do that? How do you do that? Um, Akesh Ambani is one of the richest men in the world, okay? Uh, the first man to own a private residence costing more than one billion dollars to build okay so i'm not going to read the next uh, the, the rest of the paragraph the interior of the home is very glamorous and each floor is made of from different materials to give the individual look marble floor so this paragraph talks about the interior interior design of the house maybe okay uh has a multi-story garage with the space for alternative there are also hill pads on the roof uh, the lobby has numerous reception areas and nine nine lifts. Okay, okay. The Ambani residence is clearly designed to entertain guests. The living quarters are on the top floors because the family wanted as much sunlight as possible. Several experts have criticized the architecture of this very expensive home, comparing it to an unstable pile of box. So, in less than one minute, I got an idea of what the text is about. Okay, remember, in the first question, we have two keywords seats and theater okay so i need to scan the text now i have i'm done with the skimming i need to scan the text for these keywords okay you scan the text quickly okay um of course the more you read the the better you get at scanning and skimming okay but don't read the text you can read the text as we said for the first two months after you're done with your homework okay Okay, uh, entertain. There has it has. I'm sorry, a theater which seats fifty. So the answer is fifty. The theater has fifty seats. Okay, let's go back to the question. Okay, how many seats are there in the Ambani Residence Theater? Okay, let's imagine, for example, that a student wrote the answer 500 okay so this is the first mistake make sure that you use the correct information when you answer a question the correct answer is 50 not 500 okay some people might be very worried at the exam and this is a problem okay some people make such mistakes okay so it's not 500, it's 50. How much did it cost to build the Imbani residence? Okay, okay, the answer is $1 billion. It's correct, as we have seen. 
okay but billion is spelled incorrectly it's double l not one l okay be careful with spelling you can lose marks if your spelling is wrong okay what the ambani children have to do when at home clean their own rooms uh, let's go back to the text um, um okay but all three ambani children are required to clean their own rooms when they are at home so the expression or the the actually it says three words and or a number okay so clean their own rooms clean their own rooms okay so if you if you uh, if your answer is clean their own rooms then it's a mistake don't write more than the number of words you're giving you mustn't write full sentences clean their own room it's a mistake it's four words okay so what could be the correct answer clean the room or clean the rooms okay own can be omitted actually it must be omitted okay how the text describes the interior of the house very beautiful no if you look at, if you scan the text if you read the text you will not find very very beautiful at all okay don't change words in the text remember Remember, the instructions tell you to choose words from the text. So you have to choose words from the text. It's not asking you for your opinion, okay? It asks you to choose from the text, okay? Um, for each activity, we have six activities. Decide whether you would use skimming or scanning. Remember, skimming is reading quickly to get an idea of something, okay? Scanning is, is, is also reading quickly, but for specific information. You are looking for specific information. Looking up a word in the dictionary. When you look up a word in the dictionary, you are scanning for the word, okay? You are not reading to get uh, a general idea of the dictionary. You are looking for a specific word, okay? Browsing the internet for the latest news stories. Uh, okay, this is, um, I can use, actually, I must use skimming here, okay, because I'm, um, maybe I'm, um, I'm browsing a specific news website, and I need to, to get uh, a general idea of the news stories, okay, so I'm going to use skimming, not scanning. Choosing a book from a library or book shop. Uh, okay. Uh, maybe I'm in the history section of the local library, okay? And I need to skim through the uh, available uh, books to choose a book, okay? So I need to get a general idea first. I'm not scanning for a specific book, okay? If you're looking for a specific book, then you, you, you would be scanning for it. <coughs> Finding a specific news story in, in a newspaper. Finding a specific news story in a newspaper. Scanning, because you are looking for something, uh, something specific. Finding the price of a product on a website. Also scanning, because you know the product. Let's imagine that you are maybe ordering an, a new uh, phone, a, a new smartphone, uh, maybe Galaxy 23, if there's such a thing, okay? Um, so you are looking at, at something specific. You are searching for something specific, okay? Um, this is scanning. Looking through a magazine for an interesting article. This is skimming. You are going through the magazine, flipping paper, uh, the, the paper, then um, you are trying to get an idea of, the, of what's in there so that you can decide uh, whether you will read a specific one or not, okay? A specific article. Okay, so let's um, let's take a look at these um, short answer questions. Remember, the answers for short answer questions come in the same order as they appear in the text. So this is the question. Choose no more than three words and or a number. So it could be three words and a number. It could be a word, two words, but it can be four words, okay? And it says from the passage, for each answer it's so you will not um, 
you don't have a table with uh, words that you will choose from, okay? You will have to choose from the passage itself, okay? So the first step you need to do, you need to look for uh, the keywords and the questions. By the way, I'm, I'm asking you to underline the keywords in the question, not, not the text, okay? The text will probably... Um, the text might not have these words at all, okay? We will talk about that later on. How many lefts does the home have? So, lefts and home, okay? Now, I need to follow the techniques or the steps we talked about, okay? Uh, in, or, in order to find the answer, okay? The answers are already here, but um, let's go back to the... I have already given you the answer, but let's look back at the text so that we can uh, follow the, the techniques. <coughs> the first step is to skim the text, okay? So now we know um, um, yeah, you can do this only in one minute. Don't spend more than one minute. You need just to get a, a general idea, a general feeling about the text. So this text is about a building, okay? That someone is very rich in India owns, okay? Um, the second paragraph is about the interior design of the uh, house. The third one is about uh, hill beds and uh, uh, how big the garage is and so on. Okay. Uh, the fourth one, the fourth paragraph is about uh, uh, its theater. Okay. And how, to, uh, how the, uh, the family can entertain their guests. The fourth one is about the living quarters. Okay, and that children are required to clean their own rooms. The last one is about um, how how experts, architecture experts, look at the uh, house. Okay, they say it's an unstable, an unstable pile of uh, box. Okay, so this is in one minute. You just need to get a feeling of the text. Okay, now I need to follow the steps we talked about to answer the question. Okay, um, we already are done with skimming. Uh, we underlined the keywords, okay, left and home, lefts, okay. So I need to scan for the paragraph that has the answer, okay. Um, I need to find the word left or something similar, okay. This is the problem that you need to find something similar, and this can be sometimes difficult, okay. Um, okay, the lobby has numerous reception areas and nine lefts. So this is a very easy one to find, nine lefts. So the answer is nine, okay? So let's go back to the... Um, to the second uh, question. What can you find in the ice room, okay? What can you find in the ice room? So the keyword, ice room. The ice room. And the last one um, is Ambani children at home. Okay. I need to do what they do at home. So let's go back to the text. Let's go back to the text. I need to find, actually, the answer to the third question is here. Uh, not all three, um, but all three Ambani children are required to clean their own rooms when they are at home. Okay, so clean their own rooms. And we said that we all need to use three words. So we would omit uh, own, clean their room or rooms. Both can be um, correct, okay? But I need to find this ice room, okay? What in the ice room? Um, okay, uh, the lobby, okay. There's even an ice room which creates man-made snow, okay? Man-made, of course, is a compound adjective, okay? A Hindu prayer room and several folds of gardens. So um, the answer could be man-made snow, okay? Um, let's go back to the text. I'm sorry, to the questions. Okay. Um, what can you find in the ice room? Man-made snow. Sometimes people 
or uh, um, test takers, they make assumptions, okay? And they, um, they read the whole text and then go to the, ans uh, the questions and try to answer them all without any techniques. Um, sometimes they use their own opinion, okay? And this is a big mistake. I'm not asking you for your opinion about anything. I'm asking you to... I want to know if you can um, skim and scan the text to find the correct answer. Uh, so this is the reason behind the questions in the first place, okay? Okay, let's move on to our second um, concept for today's lesson, paraphrasing. In the reading paper, it's very important to be able to understand paraphrasing. It's when you repeat something using different words or phrases. This is what we mean by paraphrasing. You say the same thing using different words. It's frequently used in the exam to test your ability to understand different sentences that mean the same thing. You have to understand that the words used in the questions will most likely be different from the words in the passage. Okay, the key words that you underlined in the question will most likely, okay, be different from the words in the passage. Okay, uh, we are going to see examples, I mean, countless examples in the course. Okay, but in today's lesson, we only saw the exact same words, the keywords, uh, and in the text, it was the same, Tamam. Okay, you have to understand that practicing, paraphrasing, and skimming and scanning, these three are the most important uh, concepts in the reading uh, paper, okay? So the question uh, of the questions will most likely be using paraphrasing. If the passage says house boats, uh, it might, uh, you, you might find in the text something like homes on water. If the passage says permanently, uh, you might find something in the text that says forever or, or always, okay? Uh, if the text says privacy, maybe something in the passage says not being watched by others, okay? It's the same thing, but using different words. This is paraphrasing, okay? The test wants to test your ability to understand the English language, okay? Do you understand that privacy has the same meaning as not being watched by others? If you don't, then your English is not that good, okay? <laughs> Surrounded by the natural world, having nature all around, uncomfortable, not feeling pleasant, Sweden, Norway, and Finland, the Nordic nations, okay? Um, okay, this is paraphrasing. Let's move on to... Um, um, okay, um, this is a bit of... Um, an exercise, okay? The key to paraphrasing is understanding synonyms and words or phrases with a similar meaning in the text. So if the text says the city, oh, I'm sorry, if the, I mean the, the question says the city, um, it's asking you about the city of the text. In this context, it may be Mumbai in India, okay? Desirable facilities, then the text might be talking about something like health spa and gym and the gym. Outside space, um, in the context of this passage, it might mean gardens, okay? Um, in, other, in other contexts, it might be something different, okay? Um, if the question says inside, it might be in the text uh, interior, okay? Okay, um, now you need to understand that finding I mean, scanning and finding um, the exact word is not enough. You need to find the synonym or the paraphrased uh, sentence, okay? Extravagant, okay? Costing a lot of money, more than reasonable. Reasonable, I'm sorry, expensive, okay? So extravagant, extravagant, I'm sorry, extravagant, might mean uh, might mean expensive, okay? Cost or it might mean uh, costing a lot of money more than reasonable, okay? So you can find one of these three um, expressions. You can find the word expensive, costing a lot of money, 
uh, or costing uh, more than reasonable. Okay. Visitors, guests, friends from work. Okay. Um, equipped to make visitors feel welcome. So the question could have this expression. Um, the, the text itself could have something like designed to entertain guests. Expensive materials, rare wood and fine rugs, and so on. Okay, so a big part, if not all, the reading test depends on your knowledge of paraphrasing and the skills of skimming and scanning. Okay. Okay, this is an exercise, a paraphrasing exercise. These statements, um, these statements paraphrase each of the paragraphs in the text. Match each statement from one to six with the correct paragraph from A to F. Okay. Now, I want you to to just pause the video, okay, and use the techniques that you've learned the skimming, scanning, and paraphrasing, and try to locate the text, the paragraph that's suitable for every one of these statements. Let's do the first one together. The house has many desirable facilities and outside spaces. Guests can either drive or fly to the home. Okay, so uh, I would underline desirable facilities, outside spaces, drive and fly. These are my keywords. I need to find the paragraph that has this information, okay? Remember, desirable facilities, uh, outside spaces, drive, fly, four keywords, okay? So let's move on to the... I know it's tedious moving back to the uh, uh, text, but you can print out the whole lesson, okay? It would be much easier for you. Okay, I need to find, we said fly, drive, outside spaces, and desirable facilities. Okay, so we need to find uh, just, uh, just um, some of these keywords, okay? Uh, the first one is about the house where it's located, so it's not it. Um, the interior design, no, I'm not talking about the inside of the house or the skyscraper okay I'm, I'm talking about the um, facilities okay uh, multi-story garage or three hill pads helipads okay um these for choppers okay so choppers or helicopters could land on the top of the building okay so this is fly uh, and of course um they have a big uh, garage, so uh, people could drive there, okay? The lobby has numerous reception areas and nine lifts. Floors for dining, vast libraries and health, and the health spa, a gym, swimming pools, yoga facilities. I think this is, of course, the answer, C. So A uh, or one would go with C, okay? You need to you need to pause the video now and uh, try to do the exercise on your own, okay? And come back when you're done, okay? Um, for the second one, the family live on the top floor because they want exposure to the sunlight. Exposure to the sunlight. So uh, I have keyword like floor, exposure, sunlight. Three keywords, okay? Let's go back and do this one. Okay, I'm sorry. I need to find something that's related to sunlight. Okay, so I need to scan the text. Um, you have to use logic. I mean, the first paragraph you already, um, you now understand that it has to do with the introduction to the, to, to the passage, okay? The second one is about the interior design, not sunlight in any way. The third one is about the facilities, okay? The, the fourth one is about entertaining guests. So let's look at this paragraph, okay? Uh, the living quarters are on the top floors because the family wanted as much sunlight as possible. So exposure to the, to the sunlight, 
is a synonym for the family wanted as much sunlight as possible. So it's the correct answer is E. Okay. Now let's look at the answers for, I hope you got them all correct, correctly, okay? Uh, the first one is C, then E. The third one is F. The first one is A, obviously, okay? Because it's talking about the house itself. Antilia is situated in Mumbai and owned by Makesh Ambani. Okay, so it's obviously A. Okay, then B and D. Okay, I got you. Uh, I hope you got them all correctly. Okay, let's look at the second question type we have uh, in this lesson. Okay, uh, it's called sentence completion questions. It's very similar to uh, the short answer questions, but in this task, in this task type, you will have to complete a sentence with up to three words or two words and or a number taken from the passage. As we said, the instructions will tell you how many words you are allowed to use. It's similar to the short answer questions task, okay? Remember, you need to make sure that your sentence is grammatically correct. This is, the, this is a big problem. For example, let's look at this. The Mbani home is fully equipped to, okay? The most logical um, thing is that I need a verb and to is part of the infinitive, okay? So um, if you do not use a verb and if you do not understand that your sentence is correct with a verb okay part of the infinitive i mean the pair infinitive okay then you have a big problem as i told you before uh, for the ielts this is not a grammar course we have already uh, taken a lot of grammar lessons in the uh, intermediate course now we are talking about the skills you need um to pass uh, the aisles with flying colors, okay? So, um, the Ambani home is fully equipped to. Um, I might need, the question might, need, might be, choose no more than three words and or a number. So, the answer could be maximum three words, okay? Um, the passage says the Ambani residence is clearly designed to entertain guests. So the answer is entertain guests. But can you notice the paraphrasing, the Ambani home in the question? And the passage says the Ambani residence. So, of course, it's a synonym. Okay. Fully equipped is clearly designed to. Okay. So uh, the, uh, these type of questions use um, paraphrasing heavily. Okay. You must be able to recognize paraphrasing okay and without paraphrasing you can't answer most of the question okay so this is called sentence completion questions uh, it uh, it looks like this uh, complete the sentences choose no more than three words and or a number from the passage from the passage okay for each answer the name antilia comes from a there are many facilities to accommodate a large number of something opinions on the haga of the house vary, okay? So I have three sentences. Um, let's take a look at how we can do this kind of questions. This is how we are going to answer the question completion, the sentence completion questions. First, one, skim the text in one minute to get an idea of what the passage is about. We have done that already, okay? Underline the key words in the sentence or the, I mean the question. For the first one, it might be, Actually, it is Antilia, okay? Um, scan the text for the key words or the word or words with uh, that has the same meaning or a similar meaning. Okay? Watch out for paraphrasing. So, of course, this is a name of, I, I, I think, an island or something. So, um, um, but you still need to look for paraphrasing because the text could not be using this um, name at all, okay? Four, when you find the key word, you need to read the sentence or the sentences carefully. You might need to read two sentences to get the answer, 
okay? Maybe three sentences. Find the word or words that seem to fit the answer. Check that the meaning of the sentence matches the meaning in the text. Um, when, you, when you've chosen your answer, you need to read the whole uh, sentence uh, and the question, okay? And then go back to the text quickly and make sure that it makes sense, okay? So you need to use skimming. Check the grammar of the completed sentence. Check that you have used the correct number of words for the sentence, okay? Uh, actually, these last uh, three are related to each other, okay? Um, so let's try and do this exercise. Complete the sentences, choose no more than three words and or a number from the passage for each answer. <clears throat> the name Antelia comes from a, you need something here that uh, <clears throat> one or two or three words, or it may be three words and a number. Okay, or maybe two words and a number, or one word and a number, okay? Um, let's move quickly to the passage. Uh, okay, uh, I know this is too much, it's tedious, okay? So I need to find that name, uh, Antilia, okay? Um, I'm scanning the text. I'm not reading anything, okay? Um, okay, Antilia, named after the mythical island Antilia. The property has 27 floors. So the answer is the mythical island, okay? Because the, 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 the house is named after the mythical island Antilia. Of course, I have no idea what is Antilia, okay? But the text says it's the mythical island. So let's get let's go back to the text. Okay. Okay. Um, then uh, the answer would be the mythical the mythical island. Okay. How can I use a with the the articles? Of course, it doesn't work. Okay. So I will use mythical island only, okay? The name Antilia comes from um, a mythical island, okay? You need to do the same for question two and three. First, underline the keywords, okay? This is the first step. We have already done the skimming, okay? Uh, underline the keywords in the, in the question, or in this case, the sentence, because uh, the question is sentence completion. You will complete the sentence. Facilities accommodate a large number, okay? So some people would just go off uh, the road and use the words from their own, uh, um, I mean, on their own. They could use something like visitors. No, it's a mistake because the question says, choose from the passage, okay? Uh, you, you can't choose a synonym. It's the text doesn't says doesn't say uh, visitors. It says guests. Okay, so you have to follow the these steps. Um, underline the keywords so facilities and accommodate also a large number. Okay, uh, then scan the text for the keywords or words with a similar meaning. Okay, watch out for paraphrasing. Okay, so. Um, you will find the answer in uh, paragraph, I think, um, D, okay? Uh, because A is about the house itself, B is about the, this, the interior design, C is about the hill beds and the, the garage, okay, and the facilities, and four is about the theater and the guest rooms. So I think the answer is in paragraph four. Opinions on the architecture of the house vary. This is in the last paragraph, okay? Now we have another text. It's called uh, Hearst Castle, okay? And after that, we have two, the two types of questions we, we already talked about in this lesson. Choose no more than three words and or a number. This is the short answer question. From the passage, okay? Don't forget that. 
complete the sentences, write no more than uh, two words and or a number from the passage for each answer. So the first one, three words and or a number. The second one, two words and or a number, okay? We have to, to use the techniques we learned today, okay? Um, first, before we read the questions, uh, we will skim the text. Uh, some some people would use another approach that they will start start reading the questions first and un underline the keywords. Okay, you can do that. Okay, but I prefer to get a feeling of the text first, J just in one minute. Okay, it won't hurt your time. Um, Hertz Castle. So I will use the title. It's about a castle. Okay, William Randolph Hearst was a successful American newspaper publisher who received over. Okay. Um, Okay, uh, I, I skimmed the text by reading maybe the first two or three sentences from each paragraph. Traveling to Europe when he was a child, and you can see this in the overall design of the house. He even included cathedral ceilings and Roman columns in his home. Uh, art corrector, uh, collector. One of the highlights of the estate is the Nipton pool it took 15 years to build and includes the front of the ancient room uh, roman temple although the inside of the house is very european the outside is very californian with palm tree and water Hearst loved trees and uh, seventy thousand were planted on the property during his lifetime as well as the casa granda there are also three guest houses on the property okay A private airfield guests had to attend formal dinners every night, every evening. When Hearst died in 1951, his family learned how expensive maintenance would be and the mansion was, was donated to the state of California. So in one minute, I got a feeling of the text. It's about someone called William Randolph Hearst and his castle. He owned a castle. Okay. The first paragraph is about the, um, the property itself. The second one that he loves, uh, that he loved, uh, loved traveling to Europe, and this affected somehow uh, uh, the architecture of the uh, castle. Okay. Um, the third one is about the pool. Okay. Um, the fourth one is about um, the interior and exterior design of the house. Okay, and trees. Uh, so I, I got a feeling. Of the text okay now let's look at the questions now we, we 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 need to use the techniques we have been talking about for the past maybe uh 40 minutes okay the first one is a short answer question okay so i need to start by we we have done the skimming now we need to read the questions and find the keywords uh, what job did william hurst do so job and william hurst okay then I will go back to the text. Okay. Those are my keywords. Now I need to scan the passage for the answer of the first question. Okay. I'm not going to read anything. Okay. I'm going to just look for the uh, keywords. I will scan for the keywords. I have something very specific to look for. Uh, was a successful American newspaper publisher. So the answer is a successful American newspaper publisher, but are those uh, three words? A, one word, successful, because A is a word okay, in, uh, in the exam, okay? Successful is another, um, a third, a third word, fourth, fifth word. This, uh, these are five words, so I need to eliminate, um, eliminate unnecessary words. Um, I could say, it says three words, right? So I could say uh, a newspaper publisher. I will eliminate um, or omit, I'm sorry, successful and American. I don't need those. A newspaper publisher. This is the first answer. Let's move on to the second question. Who helped Hearst design the castle? So um, the keywords would be design the castle. Okay, design the castle. So I need to know who helped him. I will scan the text, okay? I'm scanning the text. Um, okay, I, I, I found the word design, but 
uh, they designed, so I need I need more information. So you might need to read a few sentences. Let's go back a bit. So he hired Julia Morgan. He hired, okay, this is paraphrasing, the first female architecture in California. Together, however, they designed a magnificent castle, which cost $10 million. Okay, I don't need to read the rest. So he hired something to, uh, someone to help him. It was Julia Morgan. So the answer to the second question is Julia Morgan. Okay. How much did Hearst spend on art during his lifetime? So I need uh, the, uh, to underline the keywords. Spend art lifetime. Okay. Let's find, I'm sorry. Let's find the, I need to find um, any keyword or a synonym for these keywords. Okay, um, it's not in this paragraph. Okay, I scanned it already. Um, I'm scanning the second one then. A keen art collector, okay? During his lifetime spent $3.5 million on his collection. So the answer would be 3.5 million dollars okay you can say that uh, actually you can use the dollar sign here okay let's move on to the fourth uh, question how many times was the nipton pool rebuilt before hearst was happy about uh, with it okay so nipton pool uh, rebuilt these are the um, keywords two keywords of course it's not in the second um you have to be smart about it. You, you have already scanned the first and second paragraphs, okay? And we said that mostly the answers to the short answer questions, okay, will be um, in the following paragraph. So uh, the, th the third one was in this paragraph. So probably the fourth uh, question will be on the following paragraph, okay? Okay, I found the pool. It took 50, 15 years to build and includes the front of an ancient Roman temple. So 15 years. The, what, what's the question again? How many times? How many times? No, no, I'm not, I'm not uh, looking for this one. The pool was rebuilt three times. So the, an the answer to this question is three times. Okay. Five. What were visitors to the castle required to do every evening? So I have visitors, okay? Visitors could be guests, right? Or maybe other um, another synonym. I'm not sure. Let's find out. Of course, it's not in C. It might be in D, okay? Um, no, I don't think it's in this paragraph because, um, because this paragraph is not about visitors at all. Um, entertained a great number of Hollywood stars and political le leaders. So paragraph E might have the answer. Uh, guests had to attend formal dinners every evening. Okay. So this is the answer. I managed to find the answer. Um, required? Have to. Okay. The, the, the question says required to. The, the the passage says have to guests have to okay attend formal dinner or dinners who owns the mansion now of course uh, a mansion is uh, a synonym for a castle but they are not exactly the same thing okay um okay i will not find the answer in this paragraph i have already read it it's a maintenance would be the mansion the mansion was donated to the state of California. So the answer would be, could the answer be the state of California? The state of California, four words? I don't think so, because the exercise or the question says um, three words and or a number. Okay, three words and or a number. So state of California. I have already done um, the questions, okay? But uh, this is a mistake. It's, uh, the, you should omit the, the state of California only, okay?
state of California, three words, not four. Okay. Um, this is the answer to the um, second um, question, but it's, it's very important that even if you know the answer and the passage is very easy, okay, you have to follow these steps to find the answer, okay? So let's, for example, do the first one. As a child, Hurst enjoyed his holidays too. Okay, as a child, so I have um, keywords, uh, enjoyed and as a child, okay? So as a young boy could be a synonym. Um, early in his life, maybe, uh, all these are synonyms, okay? I need to watch for paraphrasing. Okay. Um, okay, the first one is about the house, no? Loved traveling to Europe when he was a child. So the answer is Europe, okay? It's pretty obvious. The answer is Europe. Hurst inherited the land from his... Okay. Um, who received over 1,000 square kilometer of land when his mother died? Okay, who received? So inherited here in the passage, um, the word is received. Okay, and so on. Of course, this is um, a very... Um, uh, small and easy uh, passage. Um, in your homework, you will find a much larger and uh, uh, a bit more difficult uh, passages. Okay. Your homework uh, for today's lesson has two uh, passages only. Okay. And let's move on to the uh, writing part of our lesson. Okay. We have uh, another uh, uh, writing part. Okay. See you soon. Bye-bye.